Hello, my name is Jim German, and welcome to today's episode of Kilimanjaro. Today we're going to be talking about one of the newer types of tools, cordless impact drivers. These tools have only really become popular in the last 10 or 15 years, but they really excel at driving long screws into hard materials. Now there's a couple different kinds you can get. You can get the smaller kind, like this, a little 10 volt one, or 18 volt ones, and there's some in between. They all work pretty much the same way. In one of my previous videos, I went over the difference between a drill, an impact driver, and an impact wrench. Now from that video, you know that an impact driver puts out a constant torque when it's fairly easy to drive the screw, but as it gets harder to drive the screw, it starts producing an impact action that produces a force both in the axial direction, pushing down into the screw, as also, and also in the radial direction, tightening the screw. Now this is great for a Phillips head screw, as it prevents the screw from camming out, and it also helps with other types of screws like Torx or square drive. From the, some of the comments in that video, people didn't actually believe that impact drivers put out an axial force. This is a very important force that the drivers put out, because it's what keeps the, the bit from camming out in the screw, so it's extremely important. And to show you just how that happens, I figured I'd take apart an impact driver and show you exactly how it works. So here we have a rigid 18 volt impact driver. It's very similar to this Milwaukee unit, if you were curious what it looked like before I pulled it apart. The only difference is that this one has a brush motor, the Milwaukee has a brushless motor. If you're curious what I thought about this, I did a review on it itself a couple months ago. I was a big fan of it, very much liked it, so hopefully I can put it back together again when I'm all done with it so I can keep using it. Now, when we pull it apart, we'll see at the bottom there's the battery, of course, and then there's the electronics that go with that and the light and control the speed and that sort of thing. Not really what we're concerned about today. Today we're going to be looking more at the drive area. So up top there's this brushed motor, and on the end of that there's a, a gear here, which mates up with these two gears on this assembly here. These get turned around this ring gear here to form a planetary gear set, which greatly reduces the speed of the motor and it significantly increases the torque. That way it can drive a screw without using the impact action as long as it's not too difficult. So on the business end here, this is the hammer which provides the impact action which makes an impact driver an impact driver. This mates up with the anvil in the bottom of here, which you can see is the part that spins there, which is directly connected to the collet here where you'd put a bit in. So now the way this works is when this is in normal action, these two teeth here engage on the anvil in here and that just regularly spins. I've put a clamp on here to show you what happens when things get interesting. Now as the motor is driving the screw forward, slowly the torque's going to build up. Now when the torque builds up, this spring that's in here starts to compress. So you can see as the spring compresses, as it compresses, it pulls the hammer back. Now when the hammer gets pulled back, eventually it slips off the teeth on the anvil down here. And when that happens, two very exciting things happen. All that energy that's in this spring here gets released in a very violent impact, and the front of this hammer here impacts with the top of the anvil there. Now as that goes forward and slams into there, that provides your axial force which keeps your bit in your screw and prevents it from coming out. Now the next thing that happens, almost simultaneously, is these two teeth here, they hit the sides of the anvil and provide a rotational impact that produces a significant amount of torque that finishes driving your screw. So that's how an impact driver can produce such large amounts of torque in a rotational direction, but also how it prevents your bit from camming out of your screw. I hope that's cleared up some of the confusion about how these tools work and what they actually do. Now in my next video, I'm going to be taking a look at the grandfather to these tools, and that's a manual impact driver. These tools have been around for a long time, and they're extremely useful for getting out really stubborn screws. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below, and thanks for watching.